Let's talk for a moment about the power of leading lines in street photography. Now I'm here in Central Park. This is an amazing environment. There's architecture here, there's nature here, and there's of course plenty of people. All of those things are gonna combine for an amazing street image. So I'm right in front of the Playmates arch and there's these stripes that go all the way down this arch. What I think is gonna be really interesting is the way that they converge and create what we call leading lines. All the elements in a photograph are sort of competing for your attention, right? Now, if we can have those elements literally pointing to where we want people to look, we're going to create a really impactful photograph. So I have my camera app open and this is what I see. Now, it's honestly not that impressive right now, but there's something here. There's definitely something here. This isn't working, but let me show you in real time. I'm just gonna walk you through the scene, what it's gonna look like as I get closer, I might lower my voice a little bit because there's an amazing street performer here and I don't want to interfere with what she's doing. So I'm going to grab this photo because I actually think this is really cool. Now I'm still at my point one and I know if I go to my ultra wide angle, that's going to exaggerate these converging or leading lines. Do you see what I'm talking about? Switching over to my point five exaggerates or expands these lines and creates just a really, really interesting pattern. So while I really like this scene and it does perfectly showcase the power and the concept of leading lines, I need them to be leading somewhere. I need them to be pointing to something. And my focal point is all the way over there. If I go to the other side and I get closer to her, I'm gonna have these same wide angle lens, except now she's gonna be prominent in my foreground where I can take advantage of these amazing leading lines and have them converge onto my subject front and center. And I don't want to disrupt that unguarded moment. So I'm gonna quickly walk over there, try and get to the front of her. Let's see what happens. There you have it, leading lines. So what was missing in the first scene, in the first scenario, is that I didn't have a strong focal point. The second I moved to the other side of the bridge and I had a really good strong focal point, all of a sudden those leading lines were literally pointing to where I wanted the viewer to look and you can't argue with the impact that that creates. This video was a free preview of the Urban iPhone Photography online course. In this course, you'll discover everything you need to know to take stunning iPhone photos in a city environment. Whether you find yourself commuting to work or visiting a famous metropolis, you're gonna know exactly what to do to capture the unique character of that city. I'll show you how to photograph stunning skylines, unique architecture, busy streets, and of course, the people who make up the soul of the city. If you'd like to learn more about taking pictures in a city environment, please take a look at the full version of my Urban iPhone Photography course. You'll find that link in the description right next to this video. So click on that link right now and I'll see you inside the full version of the course.